Do you want to tell us what you are doing? Oh, I'm just building a tea table uh, for our video. <laughs> so it's pretty sturdy. I don't think it's going to collapse in the middle of the video. So, and it's, I think it's got a certain character. <laughs> Lovely color combination. Hey guys, welcome hey, back hey, to, welcome to, back to the channel. channel. We are super excited to be sitting here at the base of the Bow Glacier Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, we're bringing you another uh, tea video from the Banff Flake Louise uh, region. Just a gorgeous place to enjoy tea. Yes, we're going to use the uh, water from the Bow Glacier. That's right. Um, brewing up some shampoo from 1999. It's a Gushu shampoo, well aged very delicious tea and we'd love to see how this uh, glacier water will how it react. works with the tea yeah with the tea if you want to try the tea for yourself you can get it on our website and uh we've got to go grab the water to brew for this tea so don't forget to click that subscribe button click the bell so that you'll know whenever we bring you more videos like this we've got tons of videos coming out from this great trip and many many more on how to brew tea travel and much much more so uh, yeah, and give us a thumbs up just for hiking up here with all of this gear just to <laughs> have tea in an epic location. Let's get some water. Okay, <laughs> this is where we're. I hope you can hear me. We're right beside the, the glacier fall. The water is raging here and cold. Cold? Yes. <laughs> All right, so the water's boiled. Let's get brewing. Mm, it's quite chilly here and windy, so yeah, to this... maintain the hot water, we gotta be speedy. A little bit efficient, yeah. I'm gonna grab, we got a nice little chunk here. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more? Yeah, sure. There are a few more leaves. Don't blow away leaves. Oh, that's a plenty. Oh, that's a boss amount. <laughs> that's a boss amount. Is that good? Should I brew it? Uh, do it. Let's just do it. Let's it's, just do look it. Look at the setting. Okay, we're rustic, we're tough man. Pop huh? this in my pocket so that it doesn't blow away. <laughs> we all have a big uh, belly. We can't put we anything down. Everything here. <laughs> all right, this is a really good tea, so I think I'm going to skip the rinse. Yes, and be quick so that the water temperature is not yeah. too low. As close as we can get to boiling. As we learn from, wait, where were we with the high altitude? O'Hara. Yes, with the rogue. Wait, I don't want any. The higher the water temperature, the better for those teas. I do not want a. a 80 degree tea. I want to enjoy the full amount of the the amazingness of the tea. I don't want yeah. any. Uh, luckily, uh, luckily we're pretty low here. I think uh, we've only climbed maybe two, three hundred meters. So hopefully the water's pretty hot. It's not the altitude. I was talking was the about time. the time. Yeah, I know. The, the, and the wind. The wind and yeah. the temperature. You can uh, notice we started with uh, uh, just a long sleeve or t-shirt. Now we're here, very close to the glacier. We have to put the jacket on. How Give is this now? Mm. Pretty windy, huh? Yeah. Again, in this kind of places. <sighs> hard to capture the aroma. Even. I can smell the aroma, but I know the water temperature is too low. It's a little bit, you know, I'm those people who get a little bit burned because the water temperature is low. Shall I come and out? No, no, no. A bit longer. It's not time yet. <laughs> I guess you haven't brewed tea for a bit. I haven't brewed a... <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, I always get a little nervous with expensive tea, but it's best just to stay calm and follow your routines. Stay calm, S stick, stick with, the with the liquor color. Yeah. If liquor color is not right, no matter what, don't rush it. Don't rush it. Mm. This is going to be beautiful. Yeah. I, when I smell that, I know the water temperature is uh, too low for that. So in those cold environments or windy, windy environment, it's very important for us to time when to boil the kettle. Once we, the kettle goes, we should be instantly brewing. Uh, or choose a, you know, more uh, <laughs> regular tea. Yeah, and we just but wanted to be, you know, have I a specialty in this location. Yeah, here. I brought a lot of, um, you know, stellar teas that I would feel like not my everyday tea. I would feel a little bit wasted if just uh, wake up in the morning or just have it. 
but um, maybe yeah, we it's... wanted to bring really special teas <laughs> for these special moments in the mountains, and I think it was a good maybe call. Maybe you should take a second thought. What do you think? <laughs> do you do this? I think it's the right idea. Okay. I think it's the right idea, and I think this is a gorgeous color. Let's try it out. I can smell the leaf from here despite the wind now. Oh, I can really? smell that. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, yes. Bit of a smoky, uh, smoky, tangy sheng plum, smell. That plum sweet and plum sweet and tart of that fruity that. I've got my super precarious tea table that I built on the fly. <laughs> And just let the moment kind of sink in here. Mm. Nope, I'm gonna have to keep this here. What about here? You can try it. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Look, it's right beside you, okay? Oh, great. So it's actually, this is something we always do. In the one, like when we go hiking or go outdoors, we find a place that we enjoy the view, like all those mountains I just showed you earlier, mm. and drink tea. Then eventually we're like, uh, why don't we just show? Because people get nervous when we brew tea, we're brewing Gongfu style outside. Or As stuff. I was just a moment ago. Yes. So we're like, uh, just uh, I think it would be cool to capture those moments when we're outdoors, scramble for space or where to put stuff and it just happens and uh, you can always find a solution right yeah and I'm glad we did this is really great as you mentioned right a little bit low the water temperature is a little bit low maybe the second infusion we can uh, time that better but uh, the tea still brings that thick mouth feel a hint of sweet plumminess I just love this tea. This is a real treat. I have a mini bleeding heart. <laughs> because of the low water temperature. The gentle smokiness. And this is not the smokiness that comes from the process of the firing or anything mm. you would think when you talk about rock tea smokiness or lasam smokiness. This smokiness comes from age, mm. right? When Shenpu are aged at a certain time, around five years, 10 years or go up, they tend to have a little gentle curve about this lovely, not quite peaty smokiness. Just a gentle, like smoked salmon, that kind of smokiness. Mm. There is a curve. At a certain time it peaks, then now at this age, it's... It's ebbing. Slowly, yeah. It's kind of rolling off. Yeah. It's still there. Teasing, um, is at the yeah. teasing le mm -hmm. level, but very consistent. And it combines with the rest of the flavors. It just, it blends in. It doesn't, it's there, but it doesn't jump out at you. You've still got that that sweet and the after sweet of this tea is really profound. I was a little bit thirsty, so I was kind of drinking a little bit too fast. Mm. But if you just wait and breathe over the, uh, the sip, you get that sweet shampooar flavor in the back of the fro throat and on the tongue. Mm. And you can see the color of the liquor. See if I can nail this. Mm, perfect shot. The color of the liquor is slightly, I would say this is a very light brew, so it's still orange color. Mm. Once, it's, uh, once it's brewed more uh, dark, maybe the second brew or the third brew, you will come out a little bit deeper, I think. Hello, second infusion. We, second infusion. <laughs> we minimize all the movement, so as soon as the water, the steam come out, we're brewing. <laughs> this is boiling water. Okay. You probably sense my bitterness about low temperature. Yes. Um, I it's, know it's, I, I want to just try and explain right. on, like, cause we know, she knows exactly what this tea has to offer. And you know, so it was hard, right? So if you, 
have purchased our Superin tea, no matter it's a green, yellow. We didn't have a yellow Superin tea, so <laughs> uh, like a Xu Gong Cha, like the jasmine green tea, uh, Jinju Mei black tea, or all the other teas. Please, please use boiling water. That's how you are getting that uh, that pinnacle great, that incredible depth and everything. I know there's a tons of. Uh, voices out there to yeah, talk about especially it. our top grade whites and our supreme whites yes how and to use uh, them, guys. i have a video talking about uh, how to tell tea quality that gets uh, more thumb down i don't care it's just a dead fact great teas needs boiling water and boiling water tells you the true quality of a tea okay we talked to all those giants figures in chi in Chinese tea, and every time I ask them, what do you think of lowering water temperature for better tea and stuff, everybody has that kind of interesting smile, like, you know, that kind. So, uh, <laughs> the okay? interesting smile that means, well, if you got to, you got to, but. <laughs> it's absolutely not the thing about the tea quality or anything. Just in Chinese tea, boiling water for the best tea. And I don't care about thumb downs. People have to have this uh, hard fact. Hard truth. lesson. Mm. You came here for the truth, folks, and that's what we're giving you. <laughs> the truth in a stunning scenery. Yes. I'm having a similar experience to uh, O'Hara, where uh, when I look around, I just can't wipe the smile off my face. Surrounded I know, by mountains. There's some magic about the mountains to mm. people. And oh, okay, I, I think I'm more like a river. When I hear the mm. river, the rain, the, the, the kind waterfalls. of the waterfalls, it just makes me happy. We have an interesting soundscape here because we've got the raging waterfall in the background combined with the raging uh, river where we got the tea water mm -hmm. and then a little trickle on the left here from these other streams that are coming down from the glacier as well. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. I wonder how it will eventually capture by the mic. Mm, me too. I hope it's so good. I hope you guys can enjoy it as well. Mm. It's a very tricky brewing vessel. This vessel is interesting because the, all the teas are in the middle. And the so, color gets trapped in the middle too with yes. the leaf. So sometimes you look at the color, tea color and you're like, okay, this is too light. Too light down so here. So I wait, but some, when you lift the leaves, Boom. all the uh, concentrated, yeah. more strong ones will leak out and the water color will become uh, stronger than you want it. Yeah. So we always do that. So I'm, uh, I'm peering into the leaf trying to guess if it's if it's getting to that red color. Oh, I can kind of see it. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Dare we? Sometimes we give it a little... Mm. It's oh, better, big right? plum. Yeah, yes. much more yes. deep. You really much need more that. Deep. The, the depth of the <sighs> aroma is there. You remember Go on the, the wind side of the... Oh, watch out! <laughs> Whoops, spilled on myself. That's why we need fast dry clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Have another smell. It's a huge depth difference in terms of the. Oh, these are like the aroma, almost right? like brandied plums now, not like just yes. a little plum sweetness. These yes. are almost like brandied, oh, deep plum richness. Yes, it's like a something you could think of a plum, but you know I'm you're gonna, not getting it yet. I'm gonna take it out. Yes. Let's go for it. There's so much. Oh, there it is. There. there it is. Yeah. much deeper than the last infusion. It's still, the wind is still cooling it a little bit, but we've got that um, deep, deep, uh, deep orange now. Don't put the drops on the rock. And this has a spot right beside me here. Oh, yeah. this is how it's supposed to smell like. Hey, take me right back to that Yunnan rainforest to fill it. That's the wildness. In this early times oh, before yeah. the, the Gu Shu concept was um, uh, more, before the concept was more prolific in the market, you know, the trees were not over plugged mm. and the environment uh, lets travel everything, right? So they... It has that jungle, that wet that jungle weird floor jungle smell. thing, mm. yeah. We've been walking through the, uh, the, the BC forests here and you get that wet earth combined with the wet wood and the wet needles and the foliage. 
this has that, but Yunnan style. It's really interesting to yeah, be smelling that in little, this setting. Yeah, you even have a little bit of roasted chestnut shell. More of the shell rather than the, mm, main, the yes, meat. Yes. Yeah. Uh, here. Right. That's. I don't know. That wildness, that jungleness of a forest, very precious and one of the quality for great poir as a lot of a wild mm. poir or ancient tree poir have that element well by the way mm. gushu means ancient tree in chinese pinyin wow okay i uh i have to say i haven't had this tea in a while and i didn't quite understand your because you it was, understand was my very burn, eh? delicious <laughs> but this is amazing that's this how they're and, supposed to and taste. the water you, I, the water uh, is helping it pop. You really have that yes. subtle mineral uh, sort of uh, footing with all of that strong, powerful, not strong, powerful, delicious. Oh. And the lingering power. Mm. It's so gentle, but very present. You know? It's like a faint cigar that has that hint of a smokiness, that a sweetness. Like when you smell that a cigar. And the mouth feels there this time. The mouth feels yes. so rich. Yes. Thick. <laughs> oh, the when we were boiling the water, I was like, oh, I feel so bad. It's such a great tea and it tastes just like a $20 tea. That's like a, such a waste. No, we got you know? it. We got and it. And feel like, uh, don't be so mean. Come on, it's so good. <laughs> now this is uplifting. The tea has risen you know to I mean? the level of the scenery now. Yes, because of those aged tea, the real antique, real aged tea, it, it's not a regenerative. They're not coming back, right? Right. Uh, you you drink this one, that's just gone. It's just uh, less and less, and uh, if. I didn't do a good job to bring it to its best. I really feel a strong sense of waste. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. And you're talking about the lingering. That's another, I don't want to point out all the downside, but because we're hiking, I'm thirsty. So I'm, I'm, I'm really got to try and force myself to slow down and taste. Remember my tasting, you know, aroma taste swallow aftertaste i'm really uh i'm a little bit chugging it oh boy hmm. we're having a blast i hope you guys are having a blast too <laughs> topic in both thickness is not an empty word it really reminds you of something very weighty right or in terms of a t tasting profile this is not creamy but what i mean is if you drink water or you have a sip of a cream you feel the thickness itself mm -hmm. in the tasting profile as well as the the weight of the liquor but this is something it's a very actual you can feel the depth of the thickness like it reminds me of and it has how should i say that i don't know the word just um, like a very visualized the thickness there. Yeah, tea has, it took me a long time to understand thickness in tea. And I think the reason is, is because if you compare it with, uh, with you know, say scotch or other liquors or coffee or cream, tea has a unique way of manifesting thickness. The way the, I don't know if it's, you know, if I don't wanna get all chemical, especially in the setting, but I don't know if it's the way the amino acids work or the chemical composition of tea, but it's a very unique presentation of thickness. But when you have a thick tea, it's very present, it's very obvious, and this has that. Mm. And it also has a sharpness that is so perfectly rounded. Uh, I think it might be, I can't put my finger on it, it's not bitter and it's not astringent, but perhaps it's the perfect subtle combination of the two to give it a presence, a real pop, in the mouth and then a watery sweet mouth for a long time after a sip mm. it's gorgeous it's very sweet with that lovely leather mm. 
And while you leather. talk, I just have that breeze, and I was like, this works than any gun to refresh your uh, mouth, and that uh, it mm. lasts for so long. For there's nothing in your mouth. I just love that. All right, Jen's on her way. I'm not going to waste any time based on yes. that, that last amazing infusion. Uh -huh. We are going to get the boiling water. Yeah. Straight. Oh, look at that. I poured the perfect. Okay, that's great. Perfect kettle, too. As we've been using this vessel, I've kind of learned the. Uh, learned just the right amount of water to fill the vessel. I put the, the glasses perfect, here. Perfect, okay? thank you. Well, when, while we were off camera boiling water, both of us were so like non-stop talking about Just how... raging about the, uh, raving about the, uh, the difference of the yeah. first and second infusion was... It was way more than I thought. I was really uh, shocked on the first sip. I got in trouble for being so negative. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it now. I so, really get it. Good thing is we learned that we can bring good tea on a trip. It's not very hard. A little bit adjustment with the with the travel brewing set. Uh, if yeah. you have a different set. Yeah, and especially and for you guys, if you can get rid of you know if you don't need all the camera gear and all the other stuff that goes with uh, doing these videos and stuff, just you know set yourself up and focus on the moment and the brew. And I think you could have a really. Uh, I think it just it brings something to the tea. It adds to the mm. whole experience. Uh, this has been yeah. these have been incredible times incredible yeah. brewing sessions and not to mention even the you have a one racked infusion there's always more infusion yeah. you can uh, calibrate it to a better uh, sip right so, tea is a metaphor for life isn't it yeah, so you gotta yeah. roll with the punches sometimes just uh, relax don't feel too nervous whether you're new or uh, you know uh, super scientific well in a while you might not have a scale i think it's not a show stopper mm. like our leave a month you can pick up with your hand or put it back with your hand. We're just yeah. having tea, right? Yeah, yeah. Tea in a gorgeous place with, uh, well, with someone you love. Ooh. <laughs> Make me shy. <sighs> Let's have a smell. It's really full, this one, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, even the bees love it. <laughs> I gotta be calm. Oh, wow, you are really calm. I'm so I'm impressed. I'm not gonna yell, okay? I'm gonna be calm. Guys, check out some of our um, some of our other videos from this trip where the uh, where the bugs have attacked. We have some pretty good footage. But she's you've been really great, really great with the and the bugs have been really low. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Their size. I'm those uh, bullies. <laughs> You know, if they're really big, like the deer fly size, I freak out. But if they're just a small, no matter what it is, I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, I don't smash them too much. I'm still afraid. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you like the tea table that I made. I uh, just found a flattish rock and used some other stones to prop it up. And I've just been kind of silently praying the whole time that it doesn't just slide away and take all our tea with it. So far, so good. Mmm. The ravens here are huge. They got like this size and they can walk, walk and hop, hop. Mm, they were waking us up this morning and hopping all over the campsite. really pretty to look at the leaf and to try and guess again look into the leaf ball and try and guess the liquor color in there not quite I think even the second infusion although we hit it ideally it's a little a shade darker usually I think yeah but you know you roll with it well on the other hand the water is different what do you think of the water mm. so we grabbed the water and didn't use any filter mm. uh, we We're, have the water filter with us, but uh, we had a look and Phil yeah. says that we can just use that straight. We're pretty close to the glacier here. Mm. Uh, not too much wildlife chance to be up above us. 
I have uh, no idea how to tell what's safe water to drink uh, or not. So maybe I don't either, but hopefully we're so okay. So if we die, at least you have this footage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just a bad tummy ache. Okay. I think he might be done. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel like the water is quite crisp. Let me grab the water, have a mini sip. Oh, I love that. From here, from my view, looking down on it with this orange rock, it really gives it an interesting uh, color. Really pretty. A little bit waxy. A little bit what? Waxy. Ah, I didn't leave much. Mmm. Mmm. I think I prefer the other bottle too. We have that clear, hard plastic bottle. I think I might use that next time. You think it's a bottle? Yeah, there's a bit of bottle smell. I have another Nalgene, so hopefully that's not... Hopefully that's not the, uh, the bottle, but let's give it a taste. Mm. I just wanted to taste the water itself. Mm. A little bit dripping still be careful so I think the second infusion was my favorite I love this one too you like this one yes because of the, today we're not doing a full Gong Fu uh, brew and again don't think you have to do Gong Fu brewing for every tea. And Puar actually is a great tea not to do Gong Fu. Mm. Old times uh, when uh, do a lot of tastings, big job brewing that. It gives you more of the filling. A lot of the we talk about uh, uh, Puar tea filling is you need a big chug and a certain amount to give that uh, tea that uh, go away. That uh, <laughs> rainforest the tea. You know, it, so a big jug, brew yourself a big jug, have that, uh, that's why the teacup is a big size too. Uh, mm. Have big chugs of some poor tea and feel the difference. Well, Gaiwan uh, brew, those little cups and detailed tastings and detailed sip by sip is a very Oolong tea style. You know, it's nothing wrong doing that with poor at all. We do that all the time. Just to say, don't be afraid to brew some even rare poor with mugs is not wrecking it. Poor mm. can definitely be handled like that. Mm -hmm. And also you can tell by uh, the cup size and the teacup size, uh, not teacup, teapot size teapot of size, a, yeah. uh, poor tea is always big. It has mm -hmm. that element there that we enjoy. And in terms of this tea as the third, uh, this kind of a uh, grandpa third infusion, it definitely toned down much compared to the second infusion. Mm. But, but it does have a nice aftertaste. It's so silky nice. Silky now, it's silky. Right? And the depth is there. It's toned down, but it's not thin. Mm, not at all. So it's that kind of soft talk kind of feeling. Soft talk. Soft talk? Yes. Oh, like somebody like who speaks with a, with a sense of authority and yes. knowledge, but with a soft voice. Yeah. So it's, yeah, they can talk very calm, but the message is strong, clear, and, and firm, mm. and very. There's no mistake. I feel like that's when I'm in of trouble. This tea. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I know what you mean. Like a wise person, mm -hmm. you know, they don't need to raise their voice or swing their arms to make their point. And that's one of the quality across almost all borders with a great tea. I found. Mm. I think we will definitely, because we'll have to <laughs> grab more water, we'll definitely continue sipping this tea in this vessel. 
uh, because the water can properly boil here unlike uh, O'Hara was a low temperature mm. uh, setting because of the altitude we'll just uh, relax here have yep. some finish off this moment. tea have a moment let's be worth some time here guys let us know if you uh, if you gong fu anywhere if you take your tea outdoors and do crazy stuff leave a comment down below Please click the subscribe button so that you'll uh, and the notify bell so you'll know whenever we uh, whenever we create videos or go live and or go live. We're doing lots of live sessions while we're out here, so be sure to click that notify bell. Mm -hmm. And please give us a thumbs up if you uh, found this video helpful or enjoyable. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. Michael off in the Rockies.